Okay, in this video I will be upgrading the LED light in a GigaWare micro projector. I'm going to use a LED um, from superbrightleds.com. Um, the LED output is, I believe, 350 lumens. The output on the GigaWare micro projector is 10 lumens, but I believe the LED input is 100 lumens. I already upgraded it to 200, and it wasn't as bright as I'd like it to be. So um, we're going to try the 350 lumens. Okay. On the back of the projector, there's four screws. And I will remove those, and I'm going to pause the video right now. We'll go from there. Okay, after removing the four screws, the back comes off. You will have to pop the lens part off to be able to remove the front part of the case. It just pops off. It's held by this spring piece, I would guess you would call it. <clears throat> the two boards come out. Um, the RGB connector and the um, RCA connector boards here and here just come right out. The front is does have a screw right here, Phillips said, that will need to be removed and I'll go ahead and take the two boards out and remove the front and continue. Okay, we have the front off, the back, the lens cover, screws and screw covers, are the little rubber pieces. The one board the board that uh, you use for the S, um, the RCA connector um, has a cable on the back. I'm just going to leave that on. The next step is to remove the fan and the heat sink is held on by a spring which I'll pop off with a screwdriver and that will reveal the LED. Okay, <clears throat> remove the fan, didn't unplug it. Um, just two screws, Phillips head, and the heat sink is revealed, the little spring. Right there, it has to come off and it just pops off. It's a little bit difficult to get back on, but um, got to manage. Okay, this is the 200 lumen LED that I put in. Um, not the greatest soldering job, but um, the projector did work and was a little brighter, not bright enough. So we're going to go ahead and remove that LED and replace it <coughs> with the 350 lumen LED using this heat sink compound that I picked up from Radio Shack. It is an adhesive heat sink compound. Um, the first time you remove the lead, it is a very sticky adhesive heat sink compound, almost the consistency of chewing gum, but just worked it a little with a flathead screwdriver and it came right off. Okay, I removed the 200 lumen LED. The solder didn't want to release, so I actually just cut the wire. Um, and stripped it so I can solder to the new one and you can see if I can focus there's a plus minus on the LED and obviously red is because it's soldered to the positive and black to the negative. Not the best job soldering but we're going to put it back together. Okay, I applied the heat sink compound and set the LED on the heat sink and um, you can still move it around as the um, red and black wire 
need to be routed when you um, attach the heat sink uh, with the spring. Now it's going to be a tighter fit as it's not a perfect um, same size as the original LED but if you can get the heat sink and spring on and get it aligned uh, the projector still shoots a great shot. Okay I got the heat sink on now the spring is a really tight fit as you can see And there's just a slight gap between the heat sink and the housing which did not affect performance last time but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back together and uh, we'll see how it works okay here's the result it's still not as bright as I like I might even try and go with a brighter LED but it is much better than it was